back. So we're looking at Jason, and it was broken, but then DZ64s was working, but then mine was broken, but then I got pissed off, and then I walked outside, and I came back in, and it was still broken. And I finally said, fuck this shit, I'm done, and then I tried one more time, and it worked. So what we're looking at here, right, is we have a session cookie here. So if we just do TNT.com, we hit OK. All right, we get this base 64 session cookie, which, as you can see, it doesn't work anymore. So it's broken again. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So we get this guy right here. Now, if we look at this like real quick, if we cat or we um, echo that into base64, we can see that's email or ours would be because that's a different one. We can see that's like this. All right, so we decided to try to attack email with deserialization, Node.js attack. We know it's built on Node.js because first off, big ass thing it says right here. And also where we crawled it, we saw that. Um, from there, we then use Node.js.py. All right, we can find it on GitHub. Wherever the hell it's at, Node.js. Node.js.py. All right, that's on GitHub. No, it's called Node.js Pi. What the hell is it called? I literally just downloaded it too. Node.js Shell.py. Sorry. So, Node.js Shell. And we see that we could go ahead and use this guy. And he'll make us a reverse shell, right? Now he's going to encode in this weird kind of text like right here, okay? But um, if we go ahead and we utilize that guy with our IP address. Uh, wherever the hell I put it at. I might have already cleared it out. I think I already cleared it. Um, but we can go ahead and just kind of put in your IP address and your reverse shell port. So like 4444, something like that. And so it looks something like this. So it'll be Python 2, Node.js.py, IP address, reverse shell. Once you do that, you're going to get this right here. Now, obviously, ours needs to be a little bit different because we need to add the email and everything like that. So from here... I added the email and then this function like right here that allows us for the deserialization attack. Put everything in. All right, have this little guy. Remember, you got to make it all add up. All right, so looks like that at the bottom. I'll kind of zoom in like a little bit. Okay, put all that in. Go ahead and base64 that, right? So I just used um, birth suite to base64 that. Put down the session token and you get a call back. So that's like where we are like right now. All right. Let's go ahead and start looking at this. Oh, okay, so we have NPM, which I think we just did NPM the other day too, didn't we? I feel like we just did NPM the other day also. Yeah, sudo, and we got sudo star. So I think last time though, ours was like all like weird stuff. We had to go with like dev shm or something like that. So I wonder if they actually have that on here, dev shm. They do, okay. Can I put something in here? I can. And I think, did I actually put notes in here about? No, I did not. Okay, let's go ahead and we're gonna put some notes in here for um, NPM. Actually, you know what I kind of want to do, actually, is I'm going to actually, uh, we're actually going to make a new folder in Linux. We're going to have to say privesk. And then from here, we're going to have sudo. That's going to go into privesk, and that guy can go like right there. Look at that tree. That's a freaking tree. So, well, I did this the other day, and I had to do some, like, weird-ass thing. So... All right, uh, do I need to run that first? No, because I obviously don't have a temporary file yet. So we, let's try something like this first. Yeah, this is the other day and I had to do it in um, SHM. It was super weird. Like I tried doing it in temp, even though this one actually made it attempt did it. Yeah, but I had to do, I had to like, I had to run everything in SHM. It was just, it was just really weird how I had to do it. Like super weird how I had to actually do it.
I couldn't just do it that way. It was it was very very strange. Ah, right, cool. GTFO bits that helps you with SUID and sudo bits. Okay, let's go ahead and cd into root. Cat that root dot text. Like get the fuck out bin. Alright, and we can go ahead and we can throw that into cool story, bro. We don't care anymore. CD to home. CD to Dylan. Cat user.txt. All right, cool. So we did that Rubik right there. Said easy. We made it, well, the box made it about 18 million times more difficult than it had to be. But that's okay. You know what's funny? The very first thing I did when I got out of there, too, is I looked at cookies. With all honesty, if the box would have worked the first time, it actually would have been a pretty easy day.